season. Listen, God is entering you into a new season. And I'm here to remind you that you should not take anything old into this new, okay? It's called new season for a reason. If you try to take something old into this new season, you will end up babysitting that old thing. That old thing will cause strife and confusion in your new season. That old thing will cause delays in your new season. That old thing will cause you to move at a slower pace in the new season. That old thing, y'all, will cause you to be drained. Why? Because you will be so busy trying to feel in the spaces of that old thing instead of fulfilling fulfilling the thing that God has called you to be doing have in the new season. Listen, in every season that God gives us, okay, he always, are y'all listening? He always gives us specific people, places, and things to pour into our lives, okay? And once they have poured into us all that God has given them to pour into us, they become empty. And when they become empty, that's God's way of saying, now it's time for you to enter into the new season. But here's the thing. If you try to take the emptiness of those individuals with you to the new, then you're going to find yourself thirsty. You are. Why? Because when it's time for you to drink, when you need the support, they won't be able to give it to you. Why? Because they've given you all that they were supposed to give you in the last season. It'll be like when you go on a hike and you have a bottle of water with you and as you're hiking you drink that water and it allows you to keep hiking and complete the hike and then the following week you say i'm gonna do a hike again and it's another hike it's a different hike and it's, it's a longer hike and so you so in love with the bottle of water that you took last week okay and you haven't realized that that bottle is empty but because you have fallen in love with the bottle, the vessel of it all, you take that vessel and it's not full of anything. It can't give you anything. And there you are on that, on that hike. And you at a level on that hike now and you're sweating like I am now in this car. <laughs> you're sweating and stuff and you're hot and whatnot. And you're like, oh, I need something to drink. If I get something to drink, um, I'll be able to complete the hike. And there you are and you're reaching for your water and you grab the vessel. Okay. You grab the vessel and you try to take a drink and there is no water. But I got some water today, thank God, uh-huh. You grab that vessel and it has no water. And there you are drenched. There you are desperate. There you are in a space to where you, you're gonna be able to complete that hike because you don't have the support that you needed because you tried to take something old into something new. You brought something that could not support your new level. Are you hearing me? You brought something that could not support your new level. In this new season, God has given you more weight. And when God gives you more weight, he also gives you the support to handle the weight. You do know that, right? He gives you the support to handle the weight. Just like an elevator. When you get on the elevator, it tells you how much weight it can support. If it's anything, if, if it's too much weight, that don't you get on the elevator? If you see it's too many people on there and you look at the weight on there, I remember, let me tell you this, I remember my our kids and I, me and my kids, we, um, for my husband, for I think it was Father's Day, we took him on a helicopter ride, right? And the helicopter ride, it said everybody had to be a certain weight, okay? It said it could carry four people. I said, oh, good, we good to go, we good to go. And he said, the weight limit is, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. And when he said the weight limit, now we all four could have fit on it. But I said, you know what? 
I've been eating a lot of sweets this week and I ain't trying to listen. I ain't trying to jeopardize this helicopter ride for nobody. And so because I knew what that helicopter could handle, <laughs> I said, I ain't getting on that. So I let my kids and their dad get on there. It was a Father's Day gift to him. So I said, let his kids ride with him on the helicopter. Don't let me jeopardize with my weight. I'm not going to oversee the weight that it's supposed to carry, okay? And that's how God with us. When God gives us the weight, he gives us the support to handle the weight that he gives us. Because every new season, he gives us more strength. Which means what? You can't be rocking out with people working with a 1.0 and God has elevated you to a 2.0. It doesn't mean that they're less than. It just means that they have poured into you of all of that 1.0. When you were a 1.0, they poured into you and now God has elevated you. And now God has some other specific people, places, and things set aside for you for this next journey in this new assignment, in this new season. And I just want you to recognize it because a lot of times we get to a attach and we feel that if we separate ourselves from certain people places and things that poured into our life last season we don't want people to get offended with us but here's the thing people who are in the will of God people who truly love God people who truly understand the will of God in your life they will not get offended with you when you are moving forward in the work and in the will of God so first and foremost when God separates you when he takes you to the next season and you have to separate from yourself separate yourself from people who no longer can handle the weight that God has given you to carry listen if they get upset then that lets you know then you know they empty you know they can't assist you anyway that's a greater sign to let you know that listen this was the right move and that's what Abram had that's what Abram had to come to the conclusion y'all remember Abram and Lot God told Abram he said listen I'm gonna birth forth out of you nations but in order for me to do this, I need you to remove yourself from your kindred. In other words, I need you to remove yourself from the familiar, from the old, things that you called home, things that you thought that you knew. I need you to erase everything that you thought you knew, in other words. I need you to go to another land. I need to, in other words, expand you. God wanted to remove him from his surroundings, okay? That that he called home, that that was familiar to him, whether they were family members or friends or people that supported him, the people that walked with him, you know, that poured into him. God wanted him to be removed from them. Why? Because God was sending him into a new season, and when Abraham understood that, when I say understood, that means he decided to be obedient to God. He said, I will go. And listen, Lot obviously found out about it, knew about it. And so Lot was no fool. He saw the handiwork in Abram's life. He knew that Abram walked and talked with God. He knew that the hand of God was on Abram's life. He knew that the blessings reigned on Abraham. He knew that Abram was rich and wealthy. He knew that favor was with Abram. And so what Lot did, he said, I'm going to be a tag along, boo. I want some of them blessings, boo. I want to work easy and not hard, boo. If I follow Abram, then I know I'll be blessed, boo. He was like, I'm just going to go with Abram. Because wherever Abraham is, is blessing. I ain't got to do too much. As long as I'm with him, I'm going to be good to go. And so God told Abram to leave. And Abram left. And he had a tag along. And I'm quite sure... Abram was saying to himself, just like we say to ourselves, well, Lottie never did nothing harmful to me. Lottie never told a lie on me. I ain't never had no strife with Lot. And life, Lottie never tried to hurt me or my family. And he's always spoken to me. So sure, Lot, come along. And that's how we are. Lot was with me in my last season. And he was a great help. Sure, Lot, come along. And there was Lot, tagging right along. But you know what happened. What did I tell you at the beginning of what's going to happen if you take something old with you? You're going to end up babysitting that thing. And it's going to cause strife and confusion. And that's exactly what happened with Lot and Abram. It got to where strife started to rise up. 
all because of confusion. Confusion on whose part? On Lot's part. Why? Because Lot forgot whose season he was in. Lot thought that he was in his new season, but it wasn't Lot's new season. It was Abram's new season, but Lot was trying to operate like it was his new season to the point where he was saying, these sheep and cattle and flock belongs to me, and this land is mine, and this and this and this and mine. And Abram was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, Lot. Hold up, brother. <laughs> My brother in the Lord. Hold up. No, 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 no. Um, this is mine. Th these cattle are mine. And so strife began to kindle, right? It began to stir up. And so Lot said, wait a minute here. I see this trickery of the enemy. I will not allow this strife to cause division between me and my God. I will not let this strife pull me away from the assignment of God. I will not allow this strife take me out of the alignment of God. And so he talked to Lot and said, listen, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Listen, brother, listen, take what you say belong to you and choose any part over here and go out, okay? And be blessed. I'm, we're going to say a prayer. I, I don't, I, I'm not offended by you. I don't hate you, brother. I love you. But I know we got to part ways. I got to send you on about your way. We got, we, we can't, we can't stay together. We, we can't. You, I got to send you along your way. I got to, I got to send you along your way. And sure enough, that's what happened, y'all. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. He sent Lot his way. And when he did that, then things began to speed up. Things began to flow the way they were supposed to flow. Why? Because the tag along, the old was never supposed to have been there in the beginning. And that's what God is trying to tell you today and me. That in this new season, that that assisted you in the old season won't be able to assist you in the new. And God will show it to you because sometimes, you, sometimes you'll be, you'll doubt it because the assistance that God gave you through certain people, places, and things was so great, was so supportive. You say, ain't no way they're not supposed to follow me. Ain't no way. And guess what? When you're doubting it, when you're saying, God, I don't, you sure, God, God, I need to know for sure, God, because these are some great helpers. They were, they poured into me like in nobody's business, God. Listen, when you seek God, and that's what, that's what God says, seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Seek God. And God also says, well, lean out to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. God wants you to seek him. He wants you to understand that he's telling you the truth. His word is pure. He said, let every man be a lie. His word be the truth. He's telling you the truth. You cannot take something old into your you're new. You are becoming the 2.0. The 1.0 will not be able to assist you this new season. It just won't be able to. And God will show you that. He'll either come to you while you're asleep. That's what God said. He will instill. He will um, seal his instructions within you while you're asleep. He will t He will show you. He will give you the, the direction. Just seek him. And that's what God had to show me because I was like, no, no. It was parts in my life. I was like, no, God, no. No, uh, and he was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And God made things clear for you. It doesn't mean that the helpers that you had to assist you that poured into your life last season, like y'all not going to be friends anymore, not uh, like you're not going to be around them anymore. It just means that they're not going to be on your next, they're not going to be in or operating in your next assignment. They, they won't. Things that you were able to pull them into last time, you're not going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to bring them into that, okay? So make sure you understand not to bring the old into the new because you don't want any strife. You don't want any confusion. You don't want any delays. You don't want to be moving at a slower pace. You don't want to be babysitting anything, okay? You want to do exactly what God asked you to do and you want to be free to do it. You don't want any hindrance, okay? You want to use the new things that God has prepared for you, okay? He has specific new people, places, and things ready for you in this new season. So get ready for it. Congratulations on it. God has poured into you all that he's going to pour into you in this last season. Now it's time for the new season. Get ready. God says, wait, behold, now I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Get ready. Receive.
be blessed stay blessed i hope y'all got this but if you didn't rewind this thing and watch again but in the meantime in between time if you take just a little bit of what i'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability you won't ever 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 have the mess of smile because your smiles will always be genuine be blessed stay blessed be blessed stay blessed be blessed stay blessed y'all know what's coming next ciao